I did my presentation on Spain. This is their flag. Map of their country. Exciting. Geography. The bodies of water of Spain are Tagus, the Bay of Biscay, the Balearic Sea, Mediterranean Sea, and the Strait of Gibraltar. Some neighboring countries are France, Morocco, and Portugal. And my country is located in Europe. Another view of their country. Ooh. The culinary. The agricultural products they have are grain, vegetables, olives, wine grapes, sugar beets, citrus, beef, pork, poultry, dairy products, and fish. Meal times are breakfast is usually before 10 a.m. Um, between 10.30 and 12 p.m. is usually like a mid-morning snack. Between 2 and 4 is their lunch. Between 9 and 10.30 is usually when they eat dinner. And then the popular dish in Spain is called pela. Pela is usually made of meat and beans. But on like the Mediterranean coast, they use fish instead. The number one fast food chain in Spain is called Quick Drive. It's a lot like McDonald's. They have a lot of the same restaurants, just this is their number one. And then here's a little link if you want to try to make that. Yep, have fun. Clothing. The traditional clothing of Spain is usually the bright colorful dresses for girls and then the bright colorful clothing against like the black. Modern is a lot like what we usually wear. Some popular clothing stores are called Zara, Costo, and Desigual. Demo demographics. The literacy rate is 97%. The poverty level is usually around 25%. The currency they use is euros. The population is 47,190,493. Spain's population is 49.4% male and 50.6% female. And then their population is made up of mostly mo mostly 15 to 64 years of age. And you have like 0 to 14 and then 65 and up. The government they have is the Constitutional Monarchy. This was established in 1978. It Constitutional Monarchy works as like it's a form of government established under a constitutional system. It acknowledges an hereditary or elected, elected monarch as the head of state. Today they're almost com always combined with representative democracy. It represents a component between total trust in electorates and well-bred, well-trained monarchs. The leaders they usually have are raised from the, for the role from birth, and it is a stable government at the moment. Music. Popular artists in Spain are... Alboca, Medea, Atlantica, Fran, Goyce, Atlan, and Zagu, Amiva. Some instruments that Spain, like, like that in originated from Spain are called the Bandoria, the Flamenco guitar, and the Classical. This is the Classical right here. Flamenco and the Bandoria. And here's a little bit of the original music. Okay, enough of that. Some famous people that have come from Spain are Hernan Cortez. He was a Spanish conquistador who led an expedition that caused the fall of the Aztec Empire brought large proportions of mainland Mexico under the rule of the King of Castile in the early 16th century. Cortes was part of the generation of Spanish colonizers that began the first phase of the Spanish colonization of the Americas. 
Isaac Albanez is a Spanish pianist and composer best known for his piano works based on folk music idioms. However, many of his works have been transcribed for guitar nowadays, and many of his pieces, such as Asturias, Granada, Seville, Sevilla, Cadiz, Cordoba, Catalonia, and the Tango in D are amongst the most important pieces of the classical guitar. It's 20th century painter that revolution Pablo Picasso is a 20th century painter that revolutionized the meaning of art. He had a baptism name that was intended to honor several family members and patron saints. He is a very influential modern painter of the 20th century. He had four children named Paulo, Maya, Claude, and Paloma. There's pictures. So holidays and traditions. One popular tradition in Spain is tapas, one of the most famous of them all. Many don't understand it. A tapa is not a type of food. It is a way of eating it. Tapas are small portions, but they can be of anything. And to go for tapas does not mean ordering a lot of dishes in one restaurant. Like, you can, but that's not how you do it. It means to bar hop, eating a different tapa in each bar. So, yep. Another holiday in Spain occurs on August 15th. It's called the Assumption of Mary, or the Assumption of the Virgin. It's a holiday that celebrates the Ascension of Mary into Heaven. Fireworks and processions throughout the streets with the images of the Virgin Mary mark the day. This is a mural I have of her. Tourist attractions. Oops. This is the Alcazar Seville in Spain. It is a royal palace in the prehistoric era that it was a Moorish fort. Gradually, the fort was increased in size. The palace reflects a strong Moorish architecture. The Alcazar Seville is a very elegant palace in the country of Spain. The construction of the Alcazar Seville was started in the year of 1364. Sorry. There are various parts and sections of the Alcazar, Seville, and all these sections are characterized with different unique things. So here's a picture of one of the areas. The Castile de Aero, Spain, is located a few kilometers away from the Mediterranean Sea. The special attraction of the Castile de Aero is the exotic beaches that are spread all over the town of in Spain. Thousands of people from various corners of the world come to visit this. Spain, while traveling through the country of Spain, the magnificent beaches are considered as the greatest beaches in the world, and these have also been awarded with the quality award called Blue Flag. The Pyrenees Mountain in Spain is situated in the southern region of Europe, and it serves as the borderline between the countries of France and Spain. This is, there is a mythological story behind the Nomenclature of the mountain range in the county of country of Spain. The name Pyrenees came from the Greek word Pyrene, that means fire in the Greek language. Pyrene was Beberk's daughter. In the Pyrenees Mountains, you will get to see various types of wild animals and various species of colorful birds. There's a picture. What I learned: the name Spain is diverged from the word. Is Spania, which actually means the land of rabbits. Um, on May 15th, all the single women in Madrid visit the chapel called Ermita de San Isidro to prick their fingers with pins and put it in a vessel. This helps them find a husband. And Pela was not originally a seafood dish, it was made with chick, pork, rabbit, and snails. And here's where I got my information. Yep, that's it.